welcome back to my online video tutorial series out there. End of this video, you should be familiar with the draw command. You should know how to use the spline, how to use ray and a construction line. The first one that in previous is for drawing. The first one I'm looking at is the construction line. All right. What the construction line does, it allows us to draw lines horizontally, horizontal, vertical, horizontally, vertically, angle, ang at an angle, and also to bisect. All right. So the first one I will be exploring is the horizontal. So once we click horizontal, it allows us to draw lines horizontally, a series of lines horizontally. We can also draw these lines at specific distance apart from each other, all right? That's horizontal. To, we can also draw lines vertically, all right? A vertical line, again, we reactivate the poly, the X line command, and type click V, or type V enter. And here we're able to draw lines vertically. Yeah. All right, vertically. We could also draw lines inclined or at an angle, at a specific angle by using this command. All right, where that we it's space bar to reactivate. At an angle, we click angle or type A, enter. Click this. It will then ask us to specify the angle that we intend to draw the line, line at. So that we, in this case, I'm entering 45 degrees, four or five, enter. And I click at a point which I intend to draw the lines at. There we go. And again, I hit space bar to reactivate. I could also bisect. I could also bisect a line, an angle, or a line using this command. All right. So let me delete some of these. So I'm left click, then drag to delete those. All right. So I'm going back to X line and um, for um, construction line, I could click XL, XL, enter. That brings up our construction line. Bisect, I click B. And first, it will ask me to specify the vertex. The vertex is the point where two lines meet. So before I do that, it, it would, would be advisable to, to construct an angle first. So this is my angle. Uh, let's go back to that. So for that, we enter XL, XL for X for, for um, construction line. No, we're at bisect. So for bisecting an angle, we click B, bisect, or type B, then enter. Next, it will ask us to specify the vertex. The vertex is simply the point where both lines meet or where the angle is formed. So I'll click here. Next, it will ask me to specify a starting angle. So I click here. And as I move this, you will notice the line being moved. Click here. And there we have it. A line, a bisector being drawn between these two points. Very useful. All right. Offset. We can also use this to offset, to offset, draw offset lines. And um, what are offset lines? Offset lines are parallel lines that are drawn at specific distance away from a given line. All right. So here I click that and it will ask me to specify an offset distance. I could enter a value or I could type T or accept through. What through does, through allow us to draw lines 
at um, varying distance, or it gives you the flexibility to enter the value, the offset distance as you as you go. And um, that is useful in cases where you don't know specifically what distance you want to offset that line. Yeah, so you would want to move the line and as you go, you probably work out a suitable distance, all right? So in that case, I wish to offset this line at 30, three, zero, enter, all right? And I click to offset, here I want it to be seven, enter, that is done at seven. I click here again and I move, this is, 18, enter. All right, so that's basically the principle of drawing offset lines. All right, again, I left click, drag, click again to highlight, delete. Delete those, all right. Let's explore another of these commands. Go back into drawing. Here we have, um, we just looked at construction line. So we looked at vertical construction line. We looked at horizontal construction line. We looked at um, angle and also offset. Now we will be looking at um, this other one, which is ray, right? And uh, ray is very useful in that um, ray allows us to draw lines from radiating lines from a point, all right? So for that, I can draw a line there, draw another line here, one line there, one there, one there, one there. All right. So these lines are radiated from a point, basically. All right. This is useful for cases where you wish to divide a circle into a number of equal parts, which something which you, you, you will look into at a later date. All right. The next one is to draw spline, yeah, spline. And what spline does, spline allows us to draw an arc, arc curved or a wave line at a define or specified pattern. And so, so that is spline. And uh, this is useful when you're drawing, but when you're drawing sub objects, which has curved edges, all right? We normally use spline to draw those sections. For example, ellipse or loci, okay? Let's go back to here. We have another one here, which is divide. And uh, this is very, very useful, all right? Divide, and uh, for divide, we can divide line, we can divide circle, and also arc. All right, so say for example, I wish to divide this line into a number of equal parts. I would simply go here, click on the divide. Now I'll click the line which I intend to divide, select object. Next, it will ask me to enter the number of segments that I wish to divide, number of segments or, or parts that I wish to divide this line into. In this, let's say, let's use five, for example. So I type five, enter. And now this line has been divided into five equal parts, all right? So I'm gonna draw a line here. Next, I'm gonna copy this line to those different parts. C over copy, enter. Here, as I move, at the points where the divisions are, you will notice as a little circle is formed. A node is being generated. Yeah? So see, I have this line being divided into five equal parts. Yeah. We could also divide circle into a number of equal parts. So let's go back to that. So we go again to drawing, click on this icon for divide. Next, we click onto the object, click here. It will ask us to enter, enter the number of segments that we intend to divide this line into. Uh, typically, we divide circle into 12 equal parts when we're doing most geometric construction. 
So for that, I will use 12 equal parts. 12, enter. All right, so this has been divided into 12 equal parts. To make these divisions more visible, we could, we could activate a feature which is called um, point type. So we can type P, T, Y, P, E, point type, enter. And uh, this will allow us to choose a point type, all right? Let's choose circle, okay. And um, for that, we have some circle here. These circles are, are very, very large, so let us do this back. P, T, Y, P, E, enter. For this, I want a radius of, let's say, size to be um, two. Okay, all right, so these are re still re relatively large when compared to the size of this. I could also reduce the size even more by typing P, T, Y, P, E, enter, and change this to one, all right, one. Okay, and this is now reduced to a size of a size, all right? Now, um, now that we have 12 equal parts, so we, so we can divide a circle into 12 equal parts. We could now we use ray, we could also use ray, to divide this into, you could use ray to divide this into a number of equal parts or to draw lines through this, all right? So let's go back here and use our ray. And we could draw a line through these points. So one there, one here, one there, one there. So this is very useful when we want to divide or to divide a circle or an arc into a number of equal parts, yeah? So there we go. We have that being divided into 12 equal parts with lines being protruded from the center. We could trim this off by typing TR, enter, enter. Click on this, click and drag, left click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, or click onto those, yeah? to clean up those, right? We could also divide an arc into a number of equal parts, all right? So let us draw an arc. Remember, we looked at arc in our previous class, start, center, end. So let us draw an arc, my start point, center point here, and uh, end right there. Now I could divide this arc into 12 or eight equal parts. Let's use eight. So again, we go back to here and we click on our divide. Then select object, click the object, then enter the number of segments. Let us be six. Let's enter six, type six, enter. And see, this arc has been divided into six equal parts. So from that, we could also use our ray and draw rays from these points. Ray from here, ray from to there. Yeah. Escape. All right. So we could, so this, these are those ways in which we could use, we, we can combine um, division of line, uh, construction lines and ray to generate figures that we want, right? Let's see what else we have here. And uh, for now, I think we'll stop it there for, for these, all right? In my next video, I'll be, look, I'll be exploring the um, polygon, polygon and the ellipse.